is everybody doing? Uh, tonight on this fine Saturday evening, we're going to talk about the Coon Skinner, the new uh, GEC. It's the model 818222 Red Onion Micarta version of the Coon Skinner. Um, this is a knife that I, I really didn't want. I didn't want to even order this, but a certain uh, supplier had these on sale on Cyber Monday. Um, fairly cheap. $116 and it come with a free Gerber fishing tool which is right here I don't know if I'll open that or not I don't even know what it really does didn't even really care which when he had this for $116 I thought why not I'll go ahead and jump on this uh, this knife as well to add to my collection and we'll get into a story this might get a little long-winded but uh, we'll go over it but we'll look at the knife first. We'll open it up and take a look at the Coon Skinner and see what it's all about. Um, there are a few versions of this. There's the Red Onion Micarta, Snakewood Standard, Snakewood Deluxe, I think. Uh, I get Snakewood, hell, I don't know. Um, then there's a the Yellow Rose Bone. Um, I really didn't want this knife because I knew it wasn't going to, what they say, give you me the fizz. So, you know, because I watched plenty of videos on this. So we'll just kind of take a look at it and kind of explain why I didn't want to get it, but I, I just went ahead and did. Who cares, you know? First we'll look at the pin. Ah. Is it going to focus? Come on now, focus. There we go. There's the pin. And then we'll take a look at the actual knife. Um, it's got the serpentine style shield. Um, the red onion micarta, which does look good. The one thing I knew that was going to give me the fizz is it's just a single spring knife. Fit and finish is fairly decent. Um, you can see a little bit of darkness right up here. You know, I don't think it's any gappage or anything, but it just isn't as formally fit as my other ones. Um, so we'll open her up here. It does have the small nail nicks it's got a cut out on the pile side here so we'll open that one first look at the old tang stamp here what's that say great eastern cutlery titusville pennsylvania then on this side it just we got carbon let's open the show side Tidia Cutlery. Then it's got the model number, the if we can get it to focus. 818222. Um but yeah, it's just a very slender muskrat style knife. Let's listen to the walk and talk here. Not bad on the closing. Let's listen to the opening. Ah, it's not too too bad. Decent. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Um, so like I said, I really didn't want this knife. I knew I probably wasn't going to like it. Because I have other muskrats that are that are fairly decent made. And I knew it was going to be hard to compete with the other ones that I have like out here. That we'll talk about here in a second. I will do some measurements on this. If we look, we'll put her on the 7. Goes to the 11. So it's 4 inches long. We'll just measure one blade because the blades should be identical. Put the cutting link here on the eight, and it goes to ten and three quarters, so two and three quarter inches long on the actual blades. Um, yeah, it's just kind of basic muskrat style knife. But uh, we'll go into, you know, I was on. Uh, I think I may have got an email or something, or no, I'm on a GEC. Facebook page and someone always puts when these come up for sale they link the actual website so I seen it that he had this version up I, I automatically clicked on the website it took me to the distributor $116 with that free fishing tool that we that I showed you a second ago this one here so of course it's a distributor that does charge tax shipping was free but i think all in all is 127 dollars for the item on monday paid for it i believe probably by 
I, I don't know what time it was. Fairly early in the day. So it's paid for. You know, I'm used to ordering things from DLT. All right, DLT, you order it on Monday. I get it on Wednesday. Pay no extra charge for shipping. So I order the knife. It's Monday, Cyber Monday. Tuesday goes by, it hasn't been processed. Wednesday goes by, it hasn't been processed. Thursday goes by, I see that the order still hasn't been processed. I check my bank account. The money did come out of my account on like Tuesday morning probably. So I just shoot an email on I think Thursday morning. And it says, you know, emails will be answered within 24 hours. I wait till Friday morning, nothing. Didn't get a response. So Friday afternoon I called. And of course, you know, your phone number is linked to your account. So, hello, Mr. So-and-so, uh, are you calling about your order, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I just, I see it hasn't even been processed yet. And it's Friday and I ordered it on Monday. Yeah, well, we're a little behind. We're trying to get the things and... I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure that there isn't an issue that, you know, because I, I, I did notice that it did come out of my account. So, she's like, oh, no, we're, we're, we're getting to it. It's just taking us a little extra time. So, I noticed that Friday evening the order gets processed. <laughs> I think the following Monday, it says it was finally making it to shipping. So, I think I received the knife on Wednesday, which is 7, 8, nine nine days after ordering the knife i received it so yeah i don't know and this is a distributor that puts out plenty of youtube videos so i'm thinking you know in that time right there i think they probably put out six videos in that nine day period and i'm like you know if you quit making videos <laughs> get someone to get my order processed and shipped it'd be great you know it isn't that i really just wanted the knife i just wanted it for my collection but you know, when you buy something and pay for it, you just hate to wait on it. You know, I'm just like that. I just want it shipped to me as soon as possible. Because I'm used to dealing with, like I said, DLT trading. You order it on Monday, you have it in your hand on Wednesday. That's just how they how they operate up there. They're, they take pride in their shipping. So, you know, I, I don't know if the company I bought this from didn't have the knives in hand. Maybe they were still waiting to get them. I, I just do not know what the holdup was. I didn't even ask. I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to chalk it up. To, it's taking a little longer. I trust that they'll get it to me. If not, I'll get my money back. So, like I said, it wasn't even really a knife that I just really wanted. Like this, when I pick this up, it just doesn't give me the fizz like some other knives that I have here. You know, we'll just compare it. Like this right here is my favorite traditional muskrat style knife. This is... Uh, a stag it's a baron son and he would expect this from baron son but this was a smoky mountain knife work exclusive i guess in 2010 so there's a video of this knife on my page as well a little earlier this knife right here you know you just look at the difference and, you know i just you know i know that this that i paid you know 127 dollars for is not going to compare to this that i got for this was in a bin I bought $10 worth of knives, and this was brand new in the box in the bottom of that bin. So, at an estate sale. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, you know, you got the Shatton Morgan Muskrat with the spade blade. And then you got your traditional case. You know, the man in black case. You know, this knife was probably $55, $60 new, I guess. You know, there's videos of probably all these on my YouTube channel, but then here's another dandy. This is the, the Remington Muskrat with a spade blade, cigar style, that has half stops. So, yeah. Like I said, you know, it's not a bad knife, but it's not my first Muskrat choice. But I've got it. It's in my collection now. So don't have to worry about trying to get it later. Uh, what I want to do is also weigh this knife. And compare it to the others. We'll just see how it stacks up kind of weight wise. So let's put it on. Let's, let's go ounces. Let's see how many ounces she is. So we have 2.2 ounces. Very slender. Very sleek. You know, two point two ounces. We'll do. Uh, we'll start. Uh, we'll go with the case. Two point three. 
Then we'll go with the the fat. Actually, no, I got another muskrat right here. There's a queen. Just muskrat. So we know that that was 2.2 ounces. Double spring queen. 2.2 ounces. So exactly the same as as the queen. It has the double spring, but probably Durlin. That's a Durlin style handle. So yeah, like I said, that knife isn't the greatest made, but it's a queen in the box. Okay, the static 2.65. So it's next. Then we got the final two, and I can tell you this is the Shad Morgan's probably gonna come in last. It's probably gonna be the heaviest. 3.15 with a Durlin handled cigar style Remington. And then this this sucker is gonna be heavy. 3.85 for the Shad Morgan Amber Winter Bottom Bone Cigar Muskrat. We'll put that back here. So yeah. It is uh, tied for the lightest out of the ones I just had within reach here. You know, I have other muskrats too, but you know, that one's, these are all within my, within my reach. So, I'm kind of on their boxes up here to display. But yeah, so that's just my story of, of having high expectations. That's, you know, again, I'm used to ordering from DLT. They take pride in their shipping. Um, they get it to you within two days. That's without paying a dime extra. You know, it's U.S. Postal Service bringing you the knife. Um, and it may be where I'm located logistically. I am directly south of them. I'm not sure how many miles. Probably, probably eight hours by vehicle. But I have that knife in my hands two days later. So that's just my story, my kind of little rant. And it's kind of me just kind of showing you the knife again. It's... You know, it's a GEC, a titty out, titty out, however you want to pronounce it, cutlery, but just a red micarta, red onion micarta, which is pretty. You know, it does, the camera isn't going to do it justice on what it looks like. It is good. It's just not bone, but, you know, for the price point that I got it, you know, you can't beat it. So, yeah, this one will go back into the tube and live its life and get handed down to the next generation but that's all i've got for this saturday evening uh this video will probably come out uh probably tuesday or wednesday next week and uh you guys will see it then like subscribe leave a comment share so yeah get the word out there and again um anyone who uh i have a few more stickers left some of the ovals some of the squares if anyone wants to hit me up for some of those i've probably got five or six more left that i can get out there and i have been sending people some of them already so yeah, just let me know if you want it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share.